Hey everyone! What if you could crank out Flux Dev images in seconds, not minutes, right before your eyes? Hang tight, because I'm about to unveil lightning fast image creation that'll leave you speechless. You'll see generation time slash to just 10 seconds, plus this trick rocks in painting and control net too, all running locally on Windows. With insane workflows, quality breakdowns, and a foolproof step-by-step -step install guide, this video's loaded with gems. Let's jump into the fun! All right, let's kick things off by checking out our workflow. SVD Quant is this awesome post-training quantization trick that shrinks 4-bit weights and activations while keeping visuals looking sharp. On the 12B Flux.1 dev, it slashes memory use by 3.6 times compared to the BF16 model. Plus, by ditching CPU offloading, it's 8.7 times faster than the 16-bit version on a 16 gigabytes laptop 4090 GPU, and still three times quicker than the NF4 baseline. Oh, and the image quality still holds up great. Now, installing this can be a little fiddly, so hang tight until the end. I've got your back with a step-by-step -step so you can set it up on Windows without a hitch. In this demo, we're also tossing in a LoRa. Heads up though, the usual LoRas you train or get from Civit AI or Hugging Face won't play nice with SVD Quant right out of the box. Lucky for us, the Nunchaku LoRa Loader has a slick script to convert BF16 LoRas into an SVD Quant friendly version. Sweet, right? Let's fire up the workflow and zoom in on how fast this thing generates images. I'm running an RTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Normally, BF16 Flux takes about a minute per image. FP8 drops that to 38 or 40 seconds. But let's see what this 4-bit beast can do with a Flux Dev image. Check it out. Generation time clocks in at just 10 to 12 seconds for 20 steps. That's insanely fast, huh? But... Here's the big question. Are we sacrificing quality for all this speed? We'll dig into that in just a second. I found ones I trained with AI Toolkit work like a charm, but some I grabbed from Civit AI. Total bust. Black images. Maybe it's an architecture thing? Drop your thoughts in the comments if you've got a clue. All right, let's switch gears. I'm swapping in a fashion Laura I trained recently. Same deal, 10 to 12 seconds per image. Now let's zoom in on the results. Depending on your prompt, the quality's pretty darn good, especially for close-up shots. Next up, let's dive into the Flux Fill workflow. You'll find it tucked away in the custom nodes directory, comfy UI nunchaku folder inside the workflows folder. There's a bunch of options here, Flux One Dev, Canny, Depth, even Schnell. But today we're zeroing in on Flux Fill to see how SVD Quant handles both speed and quality for inpainting. Drag and drop that workflow JSON file into comfy UI and we're off. First time opening it, you might spot a missing custom node. Just hop into the manager, install it, and restart Comfy to lock it in. Boom, all nodes are green. Now, let's load the Fluxfill SVD Quant model. I'll show you how to download it right later on. We're loading an image, and I'll mask the area we want to tweak. For this one, let's turn her hair pink, just for kicks. Whoa, check that out. Results pop up in under 10 seconds. It nails it. The hair's pink and it looks awesome. This speed is a game changer if you're cranking out tons of images, testing prompts, seeds, or swapping LoRa's. Then once you've nailed your setup, you can rerun it in full precision flux for that ultra crisp final touch. Let's try one more test, adding an object this time. We'll take an SVD quant generated image and slap some sunglasses on our character's face. Mask the spot, run it, and bam, near instant results. 
With a random seed, we can churn out a few options and pick the slickest, most natural looking pair. So here's my take. This 4-bit quantized model is my go-to inspiration tool. It lets me tweak prompts, preview results fast, and dial in the perfect LoRa settings. One last pro tip. When in painting, always use a custom node like Image Composite Masked. Hook up the original image as the destination, the in-painted version, and the mask you drew. Trust me, in painting can mess with unmasked areas and tank your quality. This node keeps the original intact and just layers on the masked changes. All right, if you've made it this far, you're clearly loving this AI goodness. And I'm stoked you're here. The AI Economist channel and PixelAILabs.com are your hubs for cutting-edge AI realism tutorials like this one. Don't miss out. Smash that subscribe button and check out our other videos. We pack every description with workflows, links, and resources to keep you in the game. Want to support us? Grab a coffee for us or snag one of our courses at PixelAILabs.com. We just dropped a killer update to our ultimate guide to AI influencer on Comfy UI course. It's your ticket to mastering Comfy UI from scratch while crafting your dream consistent AI character. Curious? Swing by PixelAILabs.com to peek at it. Now, let's tackle the installation. Everything you need is linked in the description below. First, head to the GitHub repo for Comfy UI Nunchaku, scroll to the installation section, and pop open the README. If you've already got Comfy UI, activate your virtual environment and check your Python version. For the portable version, peek at the embedded Python. In my case here, I'm running Python 3.10 with PyTorch 2.5 here, but Nunchaku 0.1.4 needs Torch 2.6 and either Python 3.11 or 3.12. My setup won't cut it, so I'm starting fresh. In a new folder, I'll get clone the Comfy UI repo, then install Python 3.11.9. Copy the Python 3.11 executable path, hop into the cloned Comfy UI folder, and paste it into CMD with dash M V E N V V E N V to create a virtual environment. Activate it by typing V E N V anti slash scripts anti slash activate. Boom, we're rolling on Python 3.11 now. Next, we need PyTorch 2.6. Hit the official site, pick your build. Windows, PIP, Python, and CUDA 12.4 in my case. Check your CUDA version in CMD with NVCC dash dash version if you're unsure. Copy the command, paste it in, and let it install. Then to get Comfy UI running, type pip install dash r requirements dot txt. While that's chugging along, open the custom nodes folder in another CMD and git clone the Comfy Manager. Once the requirements finish, launch Comfy UI with python main.p. Head to the address and you'll see the UI with the manager ready to roll. Back to the Nunchaku page on Hugging Face. Grab the download link for Nunchaku 0.1.4 with Torch 2.6, Python 3.11, Windows AMD 64. In CMD, activate your virtual environment, then pip install that wheel. Nice! Now install image Genox with the command provided. Last step. Git clone the Nunchaku Comfy UI repo into your custom nodes folder. Restart Comfy UI via the manager or relaunch it from CMD after activating the environment. No more missing nodes. Sweet! I'm loading the Nunchaku workflow here, but you can grab my organized Flux Dev workflow from the link below. Before we generate, let's set up the models. For convenience, create two batch files, one to activate your VENV, one to run Comfy UI, codes in the description. Open CMD again and install the Hugging Face Hub CLI. It's key for downloading models straight from Hugging Face. 
In the Nunchaku repo, you'll find CLI commands to snag the models into the right folders. Set your CMD to the main Comfy UI directory, then download the quantized models. Stick to the SVDQ interpolation for ones, not FP4. You'll also need Flux Dev Clip L, T5, and the VAE. If you've got them, skip this. If not, use the commands to drop them in place. Once they're downloaded, head back to the web UI, hit edit, and refresh definitions. Now the models show up and our workflow's good to go. Start cranking out images in seconds. That's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed this, hit subscribe, smack that like button, ring the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.